All right, Shalom. Shalom. All right, we're the brothers out of the Great Millstone and Atlanta camp. Before we get started, want to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakhav Vadash. Yahweh be the Heavenly Father's true name is only be God's son's true name being Yahweh Shai. All right, I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites within these last days. Also want to give a shout out to all the sincere brothers that's pushed these and truth worldwide and hopefully elect. All right, and shout out to all the sincere listeners and believers out there. Okay, we wanted to come with the lesson of true edification and, and exhortation. All right, concerning that a hey, the, the truth or we fit our lives. All right, in the will of the heavenly Father in the midst of the truth, not the other way around. It's not. It's not about you know our own desires. All right, the Lord is not with it. You know it, it uh, that it be known. All right, that could be that could be a hobby. That could be our relationships. That could be jobs. All right, shit. For an example, you know if the job, you know how the dynamics of the truth is, or it's set up. You got camp on Saturdays. You can't miss you, if your job do on that or take up that entire Saturday. Then the sacrifice, you know, adjustments have to be made because because what we fit, we fit our. That's just one small example, which is not so small because well, you know, faith with works. That's how we're gonna be saved, you know. So, but we fit our lives with the truth, not the other way around. It's not if you if you don't agree with it because we we enter other men's labors. You know, we, the foundation is laid. We got, you got, you got, you know, whatever perspective camps. You got uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday camps, midweek camps. You got classes. You got, you got, you got tests. Or you got requirements. You got, uh, and everything is not scheduled. You got meetings here and there. You got, you got reports. You got, it's, you know, it's, you got fellowships. You got live streams. It's always you got charity. You got, it's time to show charity, help out, all hands on deck. It's, 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 it's Hey, it's no, you can't put the Lord into a box. So we fit our, we fit our, our lives have to align with the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And if you, and if there's a problem with that, yeah. we know what the Lord can do. Take mm -hmm. the, take the Holy Spirit from yeah. you, yeah. judge you. All right, yeah. you, you know what can happen. You know, and we get just, we also want to grab a few scriptures to align with that. You know, that subject matter. You, you had, you had something you wanted to add on. Um, I had uh, we said Matthew yeah, four yeah, and seventeen. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> just to bring this account, just to show, and it pulls forth an example through the scriptures, the filter and through the Bible. The the the, the, the man we we look we uh reminisce upon or read about, okay, our forefathers, okay, Hebrew Israelites, okay, our people, all right, they, they 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 did these same likewise things, man. You know, this is why they're 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 in the they're in the book of life, you know. So yeah, you got it. Come. Yep. So this is uh. Alrighty. This is um the book of St. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 17. From that time, Yahweh Shai began to preach and to say, mm -hmm. repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And that hey, that's and that's what the shit that's part of that's part of the topic, man. Repent for the for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This is why we submit to the will of the heavenly Father, man, cuz we want to be saved. All right, from the impending danger that's to come to pass in the, in the times that we're living in right now, okay? Which is, going to, which is going to involve destruction along with deliverance. And we want to be part of the deliverance side. That's why we submit ourselves to the will of the Heavenly Father, all right? And through, through, through those that make the, the, the micro and the mic, uh, macro, you know? The small and great matters, you know? Whether that's, like I mentioned before, whether that's a job, whether that's a, a, a hobby, all right, if the if the Lord's not with it, the Lord the Lord will let that be known. And how and what you know what example would that be shown through? It'd be through brothers. All right, because the Lord speaks through speaks through brothers, man. That's how that's how the Lord's not going. You know, remember we always say the Lord not gonna come down to you, you know, and speak to you directly. The Lord's not dealing with us on that level, not anymore, yeah. as He did in the ancient times, as He did with Moses. All right, but now the spirit the spirit is dispersed. It's dispersed through men, through through the men of the Lord, through the prophets. You know. Yeah. Yep. You continue. Yeah. <clears throat> verse verse 18 Yehoshua walking by the sea of Galilee mm -hmm. saw two brethren Simon called Peter mm -hmm. and Andrew his brother casting a net into the sea yep. for they were fishers yep. well we're soon to be what apostles mm -hmm. alright Me, you simply mean it sent out alright you got it yep. it says <clears throat> verse 19 
And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Verse 20, And they straightway left the nets and followed him. Straightway. All right, they 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 they, they, they already they had their job set in line. They were fishers, you know. You and you you think about man, you think about not in the time we've been in, going to grocery store. We buy we buy you buying these items all the time. So that's that's probably a great paying yeah, job, lucrative. you know. Lucrative, like it was a rely, you know, it was it was it was security in that. Yeah. And what they said straightway, you know, they weren't worried about. It. They didn't make any complaints. They straightway, man. They they listened to the spirit, you know, as as the sincere believers have done as well. When those have heard the truth, they like, hey, I'm I'm done with the wicked acts with anything that's holding anything that's withholding, you know, my spirit back from serving the Lord completely in its entirety, then that's you know, that's what uh the adjustment will be made. You know? You gotta know. That's right, that's right. I think it's a couple more verses. Come on. It says, um Verse twenty one mm -hmm. and it says <clears throat> And going on from thence he saw other two brethren. Mm. James the son of Zebedee and John his brother. Yeah, so yep. Same. In a ship with Zebedee their father, mending their nets, mm. and he called them, and they immediately left the ship and their father and followed him. So yeah, that's so that's four that's four um uh, four righteous righteous spirits right there, man. Yeah. Four four Israelites right there. This just for an example. Immediately Falling after the will of the Lord, not worry about their own agenda. Trying to, you know, John chapter ten speaks about trying to come up another way. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want, I want the truth to be like, I want to, I want to push it as in rap. You know, I want to push it, I want to push it through, through, uh, through different platforms like this where I just do one minute shorts. You know, the Lord got the Lord already laid the found, the Lord already laid the foundation. Mm -hmm. Lord got the Lord got the, you know, the the camp set up, street preacher set up. He got the the the, the, the uh. Classes set up, or he got destruction. He got this. He got the, he laid destruction the foundation. You just got to submit to that. You may make it easier to, you know, it doesn't have to be you making it because you know a lot of a lot of Israelites making it harder what it has to be, you know, because you're not submitting to the to the structure, submitting to the foundation that's already been laid to by our apostles and leaders that come before us. That's right. You know, you could, you could, it might be why one more verse twenty two, and mm -hmm. they immediately left the ship. Mm -hmm. And their father, and their father, and followed him. So yeah, so shit, that goes that that goes back to what you mentioned before, mm -hmm. uh, before kind of camera on Luke chapter fourteen. Yeah. You know, going dealing with in that shit, family, whatever. The, the Lord is not with it. He's gonna what uh, separate you from it. You know. So I got that Luke Luke fourteen for you. This that um, this is the book of Luke chapter fourteen, starting at verse uh, twenty six. And it reads, if any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren. Which that term hate doesn't yeah. mean you actually supposed to hate. Your, if you hate your father, you're going to lose. If you hate your mother, you're going to lose. So what is Yahweh Shah talking about? Because the scripture says you're supposed to love your neighbor as you love yourself. It. it says you're supposed to honor thy father and thy mother. So what does it mean? What is that talking about? Meaning you're supposed to this brother loves going into that love less, right? All right. Yeah, yeah. You're supposed to love your your fam. If it comes between your father, or your daughter, or your son, mm -hmm. or your wife, and the Lord, you know what to choose. Yep. If it comes, if if the question of integrity is is asked in that regard. You know what to choose. Yeah. You, and you choose your how about Shimmy how shall by Shimmy Kakodai. If it comes between you, it could, that's why if you keep reading it, it says in your own life also. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It's like it says mm -hmm. and children and brethren and sisters, yeah. In his own life also. Even yourself. Mm -hmm. When yeah. it comes to yourself and when it's when it's like, okay, yourself, what is that talking about? Well your your own personal desires. Exactly. Like that, that goes with what was mentioned. Like not, not you, you. We're we're fearing ourselves with with the with the Lord into the truth. Not what, not the other way around. Not how, man. Yeah, not not how, how not, not how you want. Not how you oh, not how you think. We should oh, we should go to a platform to you know, BET and push the truth. Do, oh, or, go, or go out to uh, 
<laughs> go out, go out and uh, do interview with, with barbecue. You know things like you know the, 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 the foundation is laid, man. Yeah. You know. Yeah. That's like that's a, your yeah. own what it your own like you said your own lust your own desires for yeah. attention yeah. whatever the, whatever the, whatever it is. Man. Because they wanted fame in the world, but they weren't able to get it, so they used this beautiful platform of the truth mm-hmm. as an avenue to get their vain glory. Yep. And it's, and the Lord's gonna deal with you. And that's why we should look at those type of individuals as examples of what not to do, and don't follow, don't fall into their their footsteps, because you know the end result. Yep. Continuing on, Luke chapter fourteen, verse twenty-seven. And whosoever doeth not bear his cross mm-hmm. and come after me, which bear his cross mean what? Sacrifice. Mm-hmm. And come after him meaning you follow Yahweh Shai, follow the doctrine, the teachings of Yahweh Shai. Mm-hmm. It says, and whosoever do of not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Mm-hmm. For which of you, intending to build a tower, sit of not down first and count up the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it, mm-hmm. lest happily after he have laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it began to mock him, mm-hmm. saying, this man began to build and was not able to finish. You know, and that, that mocking shows you that you see people, the script says, if you love your life, you, you're going to lose it. A lot of people, they don't want to do what the Lord said because they don't want to be mocked. They don't want to be hated. That's it. But ultimately, if you don't do what the Lord says, at the end, you're going to be <coughs> mocked and you're going to be hated. Yeah. You know, these guys are not teaching the MOTB is the karagma, is the, the, mm-hmm. the C hip. All right, because they don't want they want to be PC. They want to be friendly to the world. They want yeah, to politically correct. They want to be yeah. politically correct, and you don't want to be hated. What's going to happen at the end? At the end, when the 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 MOTB is manifest, and you weren't teaching it, you're going to be ridiculed and mocked and hated. Right, the things that you tried to avoid. Unavoidable. Yeah, it's just a matter. Of, are you gonna be? Are you gonna suffer for the Lord now, mm, or are yeah. you just gonna suffer because you didn't suffer for the Lord that's later? It. That's it. Yeah, that's all. That's suffering. Yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. That's the difference. That's a that's a great way to put it. Because the suffering is gonna come regardless. Mm-hmm. Jacob's trouble, tribulation, and trouble is going to hit regardless. The thing about it is, the mm-hmm. Lord will give you the spirit to endure it and protect you from these things. You know? Right. That's right, brother. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, precepts or you um Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get yeah. I'm gonna get that Matthew nineteen real quick. This okay. this go it go right what you were saying with Luke fourteen. Mm-hmm. This is Matthew chapter nineteen, uh verse uh twenty nine. You got it, bro. Yeah, and it reads and everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. So that shows you that, that like the, what the brother mentioned on in Luke chapter fourteen, that sacrifice and bearing that cross, it's for it's for it's for the Lord's sake. It's doing the right thing, you know. It's being in the right spirit, and it's for everlasting life. It's for salvation. It's for eternal life. All right, to be delivered out of this trouble that's in this great destruction and judgment that's about to come in the last days. All right, and also to continue on that glory in the kingdom of heaven, mm-hmm. being being part of the first fruits that are being delivered and to rule. All right, over the over the nations, man. Okay, over over the earth under of course under Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and the angels. That's mm-hmm. being that first food, that's that's heavy and that's gonna come through sacrifice, it's gonna come through love and less. Well Maseo in in the Greek, all right, love and less. That's mm-hmm. that, that but it, and it all falls upon when we mention um concerning the concerning the topic, concerning the subject matter. That we that we fit our lives, uh our lives and our desires, okay, yeah. along with with and fall in line with the truth. Yeah. Not not the other way we're in. The truth don't 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 be it's not submit to to what how we want things to be done. And that's why prayer is important. Mm-hmm. Prayer is extremely important and also taking counsel in regards of your maneuvers in the world through the Holy Spirit. You know, prayer and counsel can help you make the right spiritual decision, you know, other than going off of your own understanding. Mm-hmm. Scripture says lean not into your own understanding mm-hmm. and the scripture also says trust not in the plain way so you see something on the fields like on the other side of the field like oh I, oh look at that let me go run to it but you don't know what's going in what you're going to interact before you get to that location 
You know, that's why I say it's trust not in a plain way. Because you're gonna come through adversity and certain things that you might didn't really need to go through if you just, you know, maintain uh, yeah, a more yeah. prudent or spiritual path. Yeah, or yeah. utilize utilizing wisdom. Utilize wisdom. You know, yeah. the, the characteristics of the spirit, basically. Yeah. You know, you had you had, you had mentioned uh, Luke eighteen. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, well, um, probably Luke eighteen. Did you already go to Luke fourteen? Yeah, that was Luke fourteen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah Luke. Um, yeah, Luke eighteen and um. Uh yeah, I guess I could read it. Luke eighteen and twenty nine, I believe. Let's see here. Let's see here. Quite a long line. I think that's the, I think that's the same lines with forsaking. Okay. It, it, it can still come out. Yeah, it, 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 this is it, written it, a little yeah. different. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Luke eighteen and twenty eight. I'll start twenty eight. It says, Then Peter said, Lo, we have left all and followed thee. Mm -hmm. Verse twenty nine. And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, There is no man that have left house, or parents, mm -hmm. or brethren, or wife, or children, for the kingdom of God's sake, who shall not receive manifold more in this present time, and in the world to come, life everlasting. So when you forsake and sacrifice now, not only is the Lord going to give you more, He's going to give you stuff on this side. Yeah, but heavy, yeah, he's gonna give, but that, don't, that ain't nothing compared to what He's going to give you on the other side. Right. We really want the other side. We will take this side too. Yeah, Lord, thanks. Yeah. We'll appreciate it. We ain't here. We'll take some water, you know. But um, point being, what we really want is um, life everlasting. And that's going to happen through exercising the fruits of the spirit, as the brother elaborated on, and sacrificing, mm -hmm. and and loving less, which means not prioritizing your family and your yourself and your your mm -hmm. possessions right. over your how about Shemayah or Shai. Right. Always consider the Lord in all of your goings. Yep. Yep. That's it. I'm gonna grab uh, Matthew 16. Since you you quoted it, which is heavy heavy scripture, Just Matthew chapter 16, verse mm -hmm. 24. Then said Yahweh shot unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Follow me. Verse 25. Hey, that's and sacrifice. And that, that's basically denying yourself. You putting aside whatever you want out of this life and whatever goals you had set for. Now you can that's still that's still fine as long, long as it fits. It fits with the as long yeah. as it fits with the with the structure of the of the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, as long as it fits, it's fine. Mm -hmm. All right, as long as, like you said, as long as it doesn't get in the way, it's it's fine. As long as it's not wicked, it's, it's fine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As long as it's not evil, wicked, it's fine. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all. It's all, that's why it all comes down to one discernment as well. You know, that well discernment and it also is is uh yeah that's facts. Everything is not expedient for every yeah, man as every well. Every man, yeah. That and see, that's why you pray. Ultimately, yeah. the Lord got to just be dealing with you. Yeah. You, you can pray all you want. The Lord ain't dealing with you. He just not. He's like, no, nigga, I ain't dealing with you. But the yeah, elect, we look at Christians. Yeah, like trying, attempting to pray. Yeah, and mm -hmm. ever learning, never able yeah, to come into the, the truth, understanding yeah. of the truth. Yeah. But we believe that we have Yahweh name. We yeah. we yeah. know the Lord. Yeah, we yeah. we can know the Lord more and better as other yeah. people who know him better than us, yeah. i.e. bishops, yeah. i.e. Yeah. apostles yeah. and elders. Yeah. But nevertheless, we know the Lord. Yeah. So with what you know with the Lord and you know interaction with the Lord. Build and grow upon that through prayer, through fasting, through humility, supplication, and he will he'll he'll sup with you. Yep. He'll give you he'll give you the answers. But yep. the most important thing is you're gonna have to have faith in what you do. When you pray to your how about Shimon Shai, if you don't have faith, yeah, it's, it's gonna be limited. It's gonna be it's, it's gonna be limit limited results. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's it. Continuing on, Matthew chapter 16, verse 25. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. So that's mm -hmm. that's that's hinting on what you was explaining. You know, you, you you're doing these things, whatever whatever it may be, all right, whatever fashion or form, you you're doing things to to not fully commit to the truth or not be like you said, be persecuted or hated. But ultimately, that's going to have you be destroyed, be put to death. So ultimately, you are losing your life because you don't want to sacrifice now. So now you're gonna have to 
be the sacrifice later, you know? Yeah. So it's better to take heed now, submit to the spirit now, submit to the will of the Lord now, put yourself, put your, you know, deny yourself now, all right, to, to reap to reap everlasting life, to reap salvation, yeah. you know? Like, like the scripture was hitting on, man. So uh, we had something, that, that was it, that was it. Yeah, so we just wanted to come with a uh, quick quick lesson uh, concerning edification and exhortation to those that sincerely believe in the Lord, man. A to the, to A to always A to continue. If you're doing if you're doing the right thing, continue doing the right thing. Put putting yourself aside, denying yourself, and going along the lines with the truth. Going going along the lines of the will of the, of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, yeah. and that's that's and it's safety in that. With it's that is going to come salvation. With that is going to come deliverance. With that is yeah. going to come protection. Yeah. You know, with that is going to come power. You power. Know? So, Lord willing. That was straight to the point, edifying, encouraging to the sincere listeners and sincere believers out there. We want to end up by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto. Yeah, Howard by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach you well. All right, Shalom. To repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. All right, Shalom. Keep the faith. Shalom. Keep the faith.